So this exhibition is called El Dorado, and the body of work that I've presented is a series of oil paintings on wood panel uh, with screen printing, which is a shift for me, of course, and also a few works on paper. El Dorado was a cinema in Abu Dhabi that was decommissioned in 2017. I happened to be there. I was uh, lucky enough to chance upon the diary of the cinema projectionist who worked in the cinema for 20 years. And uh, it's become a departure point to think about questions of alienation of labor, uh, of exclusion. And in the process, I've invented uh, or fictionalized this projectionist as simply a character named Kay that surfaces in the show, in which, uh, based on my informal interviews with other employees of El Dorado, such as the ticket collector or the usher, um, there's an attempt to, to, to remember Kay, but there's a failure in how can we remember what he looked like. So there's a fictionalized notion of how no one actually saw Kay. So it's, it's almost a portraiture of absence. The exhibition um, begins with uh, the scans of these diaries. Kay has, has made uh, notes about the everyday events, uh, the, 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 the sort of almost uh, repetitive, laborious chores of running a, of, uh, running a cinema. Sometimes he notes uh, which films are running, at what hours, what are the show timings, or a bulb has been replaced. But then the diaries also, at times, um, uh, peppered with small moments which are notes to, I believe, himself, such as As Usual. Uh, as Usual actually repeats in the diary. As Usual, nothing special, uh, same film. Uh, and for me, that, those notes um, were indicators of uh, the repetition of labor um, that was uh, expected in the nature of this job. And, and the diary uh, indexes how someone spent 20 years you know, in one dark room. Uh, repeatedly playing films and having uh, a job that expects one to uh, remain within a cycle. And that's the uh, beginning of the show. These works are actually printed on um, this really old sandwich paper, uh, this very yellowed sandwich paper, which I actually found um, uh, in a sandwich store in a mountain village in Lebanon. And they're mounted on these uh, deep wood panels to suggest a thickness of the block calendar diary. I started noticing there were all these little scribbles and doodles uh, in the diary. And for me, these uh, became moments when possibly Kay, you know, didn't have any intent or, or no grasp over thought and action when you're suspended within time and labor and repetition. And these scribbles, uh, for me, had this meandering, aimless feel. Um, and they began to, and I began to think about Marx's writings on the alienation of labor. And all of these um, little squiggles you see on these paintings are not mine. They actually case little markings in the diary, which have scanned and enlarged to the scale. Um, and the background of these paintings are inspired by the colors of the cinema uh, that you would see within these films, and they juxtaposed because you have these aimless quiggles against these lines of direction um, from the cinema beam, uh, which think about the kind of films that were shown where the protagonist uh, is the masters of their fate, that they are in grasp or they are in control. So the paintings are actually an old school format called glazing from the 16th century. These are all wood panel paintings and there are layers of uh, translucent oil paints um, and the light goes through this paint, hits the gesso and bounces back. So these paintings have a soft glow of color. People who came through yesterday um, remember El Dorado in the 90s uh, when it was uh, largely a family cinema which showed English films. You know, and then it shifted towards showing more regional South Asian films. It was then the cheapest cinema in Abu Dhabi. Then there were people who basically uh, have a love for cinema itself. And for them, this exhibition was evocative of, you know, the old charm of going to cinema, which is slowly coming back because during the lockdown, we all didn't experience cinema as we used to. Um, and then there are also individuals who are interested in um, the stories of the transient people who go to the UAE, how do we remember them, how do we hold on to them?